In this video, we're going to be making some little miniature records. So, I've just got some modelling paste here. Now, I've got it ready dyed, because if you try and dye the black, it changes the consistency and it ends up really runny. So, I've just got the Renshaw's one here. Um, and then I'll use a bit of white as well for the centre. And then we can paint that to whatever colour we want at the end. So, we're just going to roll out our modelling paste nice and thin. Not as thin as you would if you were making flowers, otherwise you'll find it won't hold its shape. So it's probably a couple of millimetres thick that I'm rolling it to. You can try it with normal fondant, but you might find it doesn't keep its shape as well. So I've just got a small little cookie cutter, you can do them different sizes. But I want all mine quite small. So I'm just going to put this back in my bag so it doesn't dry up. So I've just got a very small piece of white modelling paste now. Again, I've just used the Renshaw's one. If you want, you can use fondant for this rather than modelling paste. Go with whichever one you find easiest to work with. So I'm just going to roll it thin and I want to keep it nice and thin. I find it's easier to roll the modelling paste thinner than it is the fondant. Ooh, if I don't stick it to the board. And I've just got a smaller circle cutter now where we're just going to cut a small circle from. And what I'm going to do is just put a tiny dab of water in the centre of each of my discs and I'm going to push this. I'll drop it onto the centre. And, oh, I'm not very good at putting things into the centre. So what I'm going to do now is just gently brush away the little jaggedy edges as this cutter's not very sharp so it sometimes does leave a uh, not very sharp edge on the, on your shape. Okay, so we'll do that for the other one. Okay. Taking a little nozzle. I'm going to cut out a small circle out the middle now. I'm just using these because these go quite small. So I've got a number three nozzle on here and I'm just going to push the centre out. So right in the middle, like so. So they're starting to look a little bit more like records now. Okay, now you can leave them like that if you, if you like them quite plain. Or you can add a couple more lines to them. So I've got a couple more circles that are different sizes. And I'm just going to push that around the one that I've got in the centre. So try and get it as central as you can. And just push in so that you're getting another line. Mine's slightly off centre. And then do the same again with your next size up. So it just gives you a few more lines. Now I don't know how well you can see them on the video. But if you spend a bit longer than me lining them up, you get them a little bit neater. I think lining them up isn't a strong point of mine. <laughs> Again, I've managed to get it slightly off centre. Um, but as long as you get the idea for what you're doing with it. Okay, so that's it. You then can paint up the centres if you want to paint up the centre. Again, whatever colour you want. I've just done this one in a gold. So that was a, a lustre dust that I just mixed with a tiny bit of alcohol to paint that into the centre. These ones I've had overnight to dry, so you'll see they've gone nice and hard. But they're really nice um, decorations for any disco themed cake. You've got 70s themed cake. Um, and also for the top of little mini cupcakes, they look great as well. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.